she wants you. Oh, Jazz, oh, I'm in a hurry. Why, Mr. Fair, why? Why, Tracy? <laughs> oh, rush hour traffic. Hong Kong Falunga. Hi, ladies. Since I got that new shipment of exploding bubblegum, business downstairs is booming. <laughs> She's a hair hopper, that's what she is. And it's got her put into tension. Again! Sorry. Reaper, talk to her. Girls like Tracy, people like us, oh, you know what I'm saying? They don't put people like us on television, except to be laughed at. I got it. Tracy, this TV thing, you really want it? It's my dream, Daddy. Then you go for it! <laughs> chain of joke shops worldwide, so okay, I've still only got one. But someday, if I can figure out how to keep the air from leaking out of my sofa-sized whoopee cushion, I'm gonna make a noise that round the world. Yeah. <laughs> you follow your dream, baby. I'm grabbing an orange crush and heading back down to the hottie hot hut. I got my dream, and I love it. Vroom, vroom, vroom. You're not helping, Wilbur. Thanks, Daddy. Tracy, I'll be a turn brat. You get back up here. I am facing hampers of laundry, and my diet pill is wearing off. Mama, I want to be famous. You want to be famous? Learn how to get blood out of car upholstery. Yeah. <laughs> now that's a skill you can take right to the bank. Uh -huh. Do you think I wanted to spend my life washing and ironing other people's clothes? No! I wanted to design them. Oh, I wanted to be the biggest thing in Braziers. <laughs> well, be careful what you wish for. Now, start folding. But, Mom, all I was doing was watching Corny Collins over at Tracy's. Didn't I forbid you from listening to that race music? Oh, if the police ever locate your father, he'll punish you good. <laughs> your dancing was atrocious today, Amber. Well, I'm willing to lie, cheat, and steal to win you that Miss Airspray crown, but you've got to work with me. Now, let me have that zit. <laughs> Stop! That is no way to treat clean clothes. What do your own Agnes Occidental laundry? Will you be ready? I hope not. Don't contradict me. Don't disobey me. Don't even think about going to that audition. Please! No!
house crash? <laughs> All my life, I imagined what this place would look like. This isn't it. <laughs> Hi there, am I too late to audition? Not too late, dear. Just too much. <laughs> Tracy? <laughs> I know, those girls were all over me. I don't know how Rock Hudson stands it. <coughs> Excuse me, though, darling. <laughs> I hope I didn't... didn't do...
isn't that too cool? <laughs> <laughs> Sure, you'll come down right after I have a heart attack. <laughs> well, the number 25. So let me put it on. I'll show you my stuff. Haven't you already shown us enough? Oh my God, how times have changed. This girl outside the blind are completely different. How the times seem to fold when I was misborn to more crap. So at least for my childhood dream to dance on this show. Well, maybe you ought to go back to sleep. Hey, 
same place after midnight. <laughs> I use it to attract the opposite sex.
place after midnight. Introduced to you by our brand new council member, Miss Tracy Turnblad. Oh my word, Tracy lies in our own living room. <laughs> Imagine my little girl regular at last. <laughs> hey, Tracy! It's me, Tracy! <laughs> she can't hear you, Penny. <laughs> Hello? <coughs> oh, yes! This is her childhood home! <laughs> now I'm not her father! <laughs> so let's wave a wistful bye-bye to See you, oh, oh. <laughs> See you next year. Uh, and inaugurate the newest member of our council, Tracy Turnblad. Well, cozy up to old Corny and tell us about yourself, Tracy. Well, I go to Patterson Park High, I watch her show, and I do absolutely nothing else. Well, all right. Oh, the second will be the first woman president of the world. Or a rocket. You gotta think big to be big. <laughs> If you were president, what would your first official act be? I'd make every day Negro Day. Ah! Well, I read you like tomorrow's headlines, Trace. Hey, what do you say, kids? It looks like we might just have a hot new candidate for Miss Teenage Hairspray. No! She can't be Miss Hairspray. She's the before in the Metrical Diet Act, and I'm the after. <laughs> So, Tracy, tell us true. How would you like Link Larkin to sing a song just for you? No! He can't, because everyone knows that whenever he sings, he sings to me. He's completely involved with me. See? Right. So, Tracy, tell us true. How would you like Link Larkin to sing a song just for you? Would I? Would I? You people are ignoring the laws of nature. <laughs> Link Larkin, our own budding Elvis, would now sing to be equally blooming Tracy Turnblad. His version of this week. Top 40 hit, it takes two.
Negro Day every day? That chubby communist girl. <laughs> Kissing on the mouth with possibly parted lips. I assure you, controversy is not what Ultra Clutch wishes to promote. Negroes and chubby girls buy hairspray too, Mr. Spritzer. Mrs. Von Tussle, how do you plan to handle this? Oh, uh... I plan to start by firing him. You can't fire Corny Collins from the Corny Collins show. Why not? They do it all the time on Lassie. <laughs> Mr. Spritzer, to keep your audience, you've got to keep up with the time. This show is fine the way it is. Hey, Tracy, on it's just the beginning. I have got terrific ideas for updating the show. I'm getting one of my sick headaches. Is there a place where I might lie down? There's a bed in my office. <laughs> So, you've got ideas, do you? And going behind my back to put this no-talent commie on the show is one of them? Damn right, Velma. It's time we put kids on the show who look like the kids who watch the show. Not while I'm producing it. Well, I was thinking it might be time to change that, too. Are you threatening me, Cullens? <laughs> you know me, Velma. <laughs> on the other hand, I could always take the show to Channel 11. Shelf professional. Now, who has? 
handle the Gabor sisters. Well, who didn't, but... Mother, there's a great big world out there I know nothing about. And when things get rough, a girl needs her mother. Oh, hon, I'll be right beside you if that's what you want. Together, we'll claw you all right at the top. But can we do it over the phone? I have enough support with six many eyes and have a roll.
the black and fabulous. <laughs>
ain't doing it. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Hey, Trace, I know what would make you feel better. My mom's pitching a platter party at our record shop on North Avenue. You want to come check it out? <laughs> I do feel not good, but I also come to... <laughs> you surely, baby. I've never been to North Avenue before. Would it be safe up there for, you know, us? Don't worry, Cracker Boy. It's cool. So what do you think, Link? I think the getting to know you is the beginning of a whole lot of adventure. Oh, gee, thanks. But the only reason why I'm on the show is because 
your son. Why can't we dance together like this on television? You think we haven't tried? Uh -huh. We pray, we plead, uh -huh. we laugh, uh -huh. we cry to the man, uh -huh. petition the bell. Uh -huh. What did we get? One day, one day. No talk. We can't get a dance. Let's play some hide and seek. Contract. That came out. 
Tracy, I've been singing and dancing and smiling on that show for three years waiting for it to lead to my break. You've got everything. Brains, talent, personality. <clears throat> Me, I've got one chance to get seen nationwide. Tracy, Saturday night is everything I've worked for and I'm not going to throw it away. Well, come on, I'm leaving and you got to go too. No, I want to do this and so should you. It's what's right. Think, stay. It's just getting too complicated, and they're still amber. See you, little girl. I'm sorry, Tracy. Oh, Mom. How could I ever think Link Larkin would ever care about someone like me? Why wouldn't he? You're a beautiful girl. Oh, it's just Annie Fisher all over again. <laughs> Don't tease. I really liked him. I've never felt anything like this before. Oh, I know. And he probably likes you too. It's just... Boys are not the brightest things. <laughs> I'm sure he'll figure out he's crazy about you. You have to say that. You're my mother. I'm more than your mother. I'm a woman in love. <laughs> and we know about this stuff. Tracy, you could be right. Should you risk your career? I never would have gotten on the show if we weren't proceed. No. It's payback time! <laughs> Tomorrow, everybody bring your mothers. And sisters. And meet around the corner from the studio and make signs. Yes! And put words on them. <laughs> Miss Lorna, you and Inez will walk in first. Me and Mama will be right behind you. Excuse me? They'll never be able to shut them back out the door with us blocking it. Oh, I'm sorry, Tracy, but no one said anything about me appearing on television. No, I'm sorry. I simply cannot appear on TV at my present weight. You can't let weight restrict your thing. Look at me. I'm on TV! Oh, but Miss Motormouth, you're a celebrity. Well, I'm a simple housewife of indeterminate girth. <laughs> Bigger the girth, the more you were. <laughs> Mr. Turnblad, you don't mind that the Mrs. Here's an ample American now, do you? Not at all. I think of her as prime real estate. Mm. <laughs> yeah, nice and roomy. You listen to me. Just like you, never let my extra large lord just shine. 